And I was given two weeks for refusing to pay parking fines. <laughs> An amusing imbalance of justice. Perhaps we could discuss that later. Good. Yes, I have a few comments to make on the mode of transport to this place, too. I'll see Miss Wells in my office after her induction, Miss Ferguson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not very imaginative. Practical, though. And reasonably comfortable, according to the women. Well, if it's all right by them, who am I to criticise? So, what's next? You're to be put in our isolation section. You'll have access to the library. You can have a typewriter if you want one. And you're to be excluded from the normal work roster. Naturally, you'll eat and spend your recreation periods with the other women. <laughs> I broke the law, Mrs. Reynolds. I expect to be treated exactly the same as every other inmate. You misunderstand me, Miss Wells. We're not just considering your comfort. We're considering the other inmates and the effect that your being here could have on them. They're not all fans, you know. Survival's the name of the game in prison, and even you could find yourself a little out of your depth. Possibly. But it's only for two weeks. Mrs. Reynolds, if you or the department try to mislead me about the normal conditions in here, it'll be bad for Wentworth when I start broadcasting again. Ask Miss Ferguson to step in, please. A lot, Miss Wells, a single dormitory and a score to there, please. Certainly, Governor. <clears throat> this way, Miss Wells. A room all to myself. I'm just following orders, Miss Wells. I'm sure you're quite good at that. Well, yes, I've had the right background. My father was a major in the army, and I was acting governor here for a short time. How come? Well, Mrs. Reynolds had to have surgery, and that required her to take some leave. The deputy had some personal problems, so the department decided I should take over temporarily. Big responsibility. Oh, yes. And I enjoy that. And you do too, obviously. Well, I'm sure you'll find this quite helpful. Book of Regulations. <laughs> Sure, I'll find it fascinating reading. There's been quite a lot of problems in this place over the past few months. Oh, yes, it happens in every prison. But I'm sure things will run quite smoothly now that Mrs. Reynolds is back in the chair. You admire her? Oh, yes. She understands the balance between fair treatment and necessary discipline. The women respect that. So do the staff. Well, most of them. I certainly do. But uh, you still wouldn't mind stepping into her shoes. Ambition is no crime. In your line of work, or in mine, Miss Wells. Now, I'm sure you'll be able to find the recreation area and the toilet facilities. No doubt the women will give you a favourable reception, but if you do have any problems, please let me know. Thank you, Miss Ferguson. I think I'll be able to cope. You still got a lot of fans around here for your radio show. Well, we'll organize the Glee Club later. Hello. <sighs> Making me feel like a bit of a goldfish. Oh, sorry. It's just that we're not used to having anyone famous around here, you know? Very uncomfortable. <laughs> if I'd known you were going to be like this, I, uh... Well, I'd have paid the damn fines instead of telling the judge to go screw himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you give the people who ring in such a bad time? Yeah, you don't pull your punches. Well, I'd be pretty bloody boring if I did. That's what keeps them listening. Hey, do you know Michael Parkinson? Yes. Oh. Oh, Bobby will be green-eyed. We've met you first. She always listens to you. <laughs> Can I come in? Be my guest. Don't expect me to apologize. Oh, I just thought you and I should have a little talk. Take the best chair. <laughs> I expect you're here to slap my wrist. No, no, no. I just came to remind you that the women here have feelings, that's all. Oh, look, I'm sorry I upset them, but I'm not about to be used by anyone. Well, you're the one that wanted to be one of us, so? So I think you got off to a bad start. Look, they're behaving like a bunch of kids. Oh, well, can you blame them for that? 
You've got to stop and look at the people you're dealing with, Camilla. Most of those women never had a fair chance in life. They went from bad families to bad marriages. Do you know that this place is the only security they've ever known? And they would like it to be better if it could be. You can't blame them for that. I keep hearing that argument and it stinks. Now hang about. Look, I hustled, hustled my way up the ladder to where I am now. I didn't have the benefits you talked about either, but I am not like the women in here. I just don't believe that they, they tried hard enough. Oh, they tried all right. But they didn't have your looks, did they? They didn't have your brains. Can you imagine someone like Cass getting a scholarship to oh, university? Now, that's an exception. Oh, well, then what about Phyllis? What about Babs? What about Jacko? All right, all right, point taken. Be fair, Camilla. There are a lot of born losers in this place. The last thing they want is someone like you with everything, treating them like dirt. I didn't treat them like dirt. I liked them. I showed them that, didn't I? From your own protected little world, maybe. Now, now, if you want to come in here and get some dirt for your radio program, do that. You do that. But don't try and be friends with us. We may be a bit short on brains, but we're not stupid. I'm sorry. Did it look that way? I'm afraid it did. There are some nice people here. You try and understand that and you'll find out. And, uh... Will they give me another chance? Twice. But how are they really treating you, Camilla? <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, Daryl. But they haven't thrown me into solitary or put me on bread and water, if that's what you mean. Quite disappointing, really. In other words, you're getting treated very well. In other words, I'm being treated like everyone else. No special favours. Not that I've accepted. You mean they were prepared to make concessions for you? I made it plain that that wasn't what I wanted. You've met the other prisoners? Yes. What's your impression of them? They've got guts. Some of them are quite soft, really. I wasn't expecting that. Have they got you working? Yes. <laughs> this will make your day in the laundry. And to think I never do my own washing when I'm at home. <laughs> What's the food like, Camilla? You always were something of a gourmet. It's not bad. I was quite surprised. So are the other women, as a matter of fact. They say the meals are usually abysmal. Do you think you're seeing prison life as it is? Or are you being given a gloss job? There's no way you can gloss over these women. They're very, very real. How do you mean? I mean that some of them are nice people who haven't had a fair go. But they still have the courage to battle on, and uh, I admire that. Do you think you'll get anything out of the experience? I already have. More understanding, more compassion. What about on a more practical level? <laughs> Good old practical Daryl. Yes, well, I'm gathering material for a story, even a documentary. There's a lot that needs to be said about a place like this and the people in it. Or not just the prisoners, but the bureaucracy involved. You mean you found some corruption amongst the officers? I promised Mrs. Reynolds that uh, I wouldn't embarrass the department. I think we ought to change the line of questions. I'm afraid your time is up, ladies and gentlemen. Would you be able to answer a few questions, Mrs. Reynolds? Sorry, I suggest you contact the minister directly if you want a statement. Well, the only statement he ever makes is no comment. Then I'm afraid I'd have to follow his example. Now you've had a chance to interview Miss Wells, I hope you'll be as good as your word and leave Wentworth alone. We'd like to be able to get in and out of the place without feeling as though we're under siege. I bet you're not the only ones who'd like to get out. I'll take you through to reception. Mm. Daryl, what do you know about Maureen McGuire? The cat. You've met her? Yes, sir. Uh, says she's innocent. Yes or no? Mm, could be. There's something going on there, but it hasn't been released to, to us. Go back now, Wills. Uh, but I just want to speak for a moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, you are a prisoner after all, Camilla. See you, darling. 